Hello and welcome. Today I'm showcasing my proof of concept manual vehicle, complete with a first and second gear, reversed gear, drive shaft, clutch, universal gear, differential gear, and axle. All of this on suspension. So first off, we have a first gear. First gear actuates into position to align with drive gear, second gear, and reverse actuate as well. The clutch system, right now it's retracted because it's on the stand, but the clutch is always engaged until I disengage it manually. And after that we have the universal joint. Universal joint helps with the suspension, helps uh, prevent mashing of the gears. And from there we have the differential that gear spins that gear, and that gear spins the tire on the axle. We have the first engine. The first engine, electric, because uh, the vehicle being big and weighty, I need powerful, so I need all that torque, and then I want to transfer or have different speeds. So the first engine is going to spin the first gear in reverse in slower speeds and the second engine is going to power the second gear at higher speeds. Oh, so let's go ahead and get up on the vehicle. It's going to make the game lag a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I still haven't added any uh, dropping platform for it. Probably could do that. Okay, so from the cockpit we have an ignition, first gear, second gear, reverse. This is the clutch, steer left, steer right, and all of this is controllable by a single seat. So first we're going to hit ignition, so now we got our gear spinning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the clutch in and then engage first gear. And from there, I'm going to let the clutch out. And here we go. As you can see, the vehicle works completely. When we get over this hill here, I'm going to shift it into second. I think for I think I set first gear a little too low for now. Okay, shift into second. Here we go. And there we are, we're cruising. You see the universal joint work in there? It doesn't have much deviation from its original axis, but uh, it is still very necessary with the suspension. Otherwise, I'd be mashing gears right now. Clutch in, first gear. Run a hill. Right, I'm going to clutch in. Let's go ahead and put it in reverse. Clutch out. Uh, not enough power. Oh. It appears it's stuck on something. Oh, okay. I still have first gear engaged. There we go. Clutch out. There we are. There's reverse. Let's go ahead and turn around. clutch into first. First gear is engaged, but we're still in neutral. So here we are. Back into first. Now the clutch isn't quite necessary. 
clutches are only necessary in cars because you don't want to be mashing gears but uh, I did the clutch purely as a proof of concept none of this is actually needed I mean the drive shaft universal joint differential that may be needed if you want to build a vehicle with multiple speeds um, so let's go ahead and shift the second there we are it's fantastic and downshift first let's go ahead and get out and see it from the bottom so here we can see that first gear is engaged spinning the drive gear from the drive gear the clutch to the universal joint universal joint to differential differential the axle This was uh, very fun to build. I enjoyed it. Um, everything you see here, I had to create on my own, except for the differential gear I saw on YouTube. But everything else, I had to develop my own clutch, uh, gear shifter, the universal joint. I mean, universal joints are pretty simple. Um, if you don't know how a universal joint works, go ahead and look it up. It, it operates on two axes and from the two axes there's a single block in there and it yeah it's spinning all different ways but uh, it was fun building this and I can't wait to improve upon it and uh, if you if you'd like to see maybe how I built this or you want to know more of my simpler the uh, simpler components like just the shift or just the clutch I can go ahead and explain that for you go ahead and leave a comment tell me what you think did you like it I think it's stupid whatever you think go ahead and let me know alright have a good day